Hi, this is Matt at AppWorks, and today's video is a more philosophical one. And it's basically as you're developing a database to decide where your complexity is going to go because you have a lot of choices in FileMaker about how you can build things. Let's take this example. We're going to modify this layout so that we can create an address. And so we have a portal down here where we have multiple different address records. And one way to do that would be to use the relationship graph. And that's a few steps to figure it out. So first we have to research it by going into layout mode and find the name of this, this uh, table occurrence associated with the portal. Then we have to go to the graph and find where that one is called A address. And then we have to click on the equals in the middle, which is a little tricky, to modify the relationship so that we can check this box to allow a created record. And then when we do that, uh, and save it, we'll see an, a line where we can just start typing the address. We could just put in some, some stuff there. Okay, so this is a pretty good method. It's pretty simple. But the problem is, once we get down to a certain line like this one, that's not obvious for the user how to add another line. And there's, no, there's nothing else on the internet that kind of works this way where the user would just click on the line to do it. So we have this other button in here, which is a script-based method to do it, which I think is actually much simpler. So let's take a look at how that works. Um, first of all, I really like a trick in FileMaker um, Advanced. So if you have FileMaker 17 or 18, you should definitely turn on the Advanced Features under Preferences and then turn on Script Debugger. So you go to Tools and Script Debugger. And then you can actually do the work that you want to do on an existing script without even going into layout mode. You can just click on your script or click on your button which in this case calls a really simple script that I wrote a little bit ago called create address. And so what this is doing is it's grabbing the ID of the record we're on, going to the address table and making a new record, and then coming back to this window. So it's a very simple script and I'm going to iterate it while we're um, talking. I'll, I'll make some changes and add some features, right? So uh, it starts by grabbing a variable of the agency ID. It goes to the address layout. It makes a new record and it can set some things. So the, the thing that it must set, of course, is the ID of the agency. Um, that's one thing that is pretty cool when you use the relationship method that automatically gets set. But when you do it as a script, you have to actually write that line of code. And then it also is going to set the default word of just the word new address to the address. And then it's just going to go back to my original layout, um, which has a script trigger on it. OK. so. When I do that, now I get this new uh, line that comes in, and it actually has the word new address on it, which I kind of like. But it, there's some other features that it would be kind of nice to have, um, maybe like some other, uh, if, for example, if almost all of the people who are my customers are going to be in Portland, Oregon, but I don't know their zip code, I can modify it to just add that one simple thing. And that's super easy. Here, here's how we do that. We click on our button again in debugger. And then when the script is running, the script debugger allows you to edit the script by this clicking this pencil tool. And then this is the actual code right here. And then I'll just halt my script by clicking the stop button. And I'm going to add a couple of lines of code. So uh, I'm going to add a line that says, in addition to setting the word address, I want to set the city to the word Portland. And the state, I'm going to have to be um, Oregon or just OR. Okay, so if I make that simple change, um, next when I click my button, um, the new address that gets created now says new address Portland, Oregon, so now I have less to type for the user. I could just type in 123 Smith Drive or whatever. So another thing that I can do um, with this, which is pretty nice, um, is set some other details. Faults. Uh, for example, I can make it, if there's no address there, I can run some code to say this is the primary address so I know that it's the main one. Um, uh, I can highlight the line. So if you make a new line, it is, is highlighted. There's a bunch of different things you can do with script code that are really difficult to do any other way. Um, you can also do a lot of these same, th um, same features and functions with a calculation. Um, by using like calculated fields, you could have, for example, a calculated field um, of the word Portland and make a relationship from the agency table to the address table. 
with that so that when it makes a record, not only is it setting the ID, but it's also setting the word Portland. But those things are kind of silly. Um, and, and even there's, there's features at the field level. So if you go into the address table, you can modify um, the, uh, the table in the address table and set default values that get set when you create it. So for example, here at this stage, I can go in and say, when I make a new one, put the word Portland in here as the default city. This uh, is also very problematic because now you've, got, now you've got many different places you have to maintain it, right? So you've got your defaults you set at one layer, other things that you set on the graph, other things that you set on the layout, and then maybe there's also some script code. So in my opinion, uh, a better way to program is to put as much of it as possible in script code, and then you have only one place to go looking for everything. Uh, script also is by far the most powerful part of FileMaker, and it has the fewest limitations, um, and I would submit also is one of the easiest to learn. So that's basically my take on this, is uh, as much as possible when you can, rely on the script engine inside FileMaker and use the script workspace um, to do all your work. Thanks.